In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do Satoshi Tower. It looks like this. Now, before you learn this trick, you want to make sure that you know how to do Ninja Vanish. So if you haven't, check out our video on that and learn that trick. Uh, it's very important. We're going to use the same uh, action to perform this trick. Now, to start this trick, you're going to do uh, as if you were going into a double or nothing, but we're going to stop here rather than mounting the yo-yo. And what you're going to find is it, this trick is easier if you take your opposite thumb and put it in the string and separate them. Um, so you see you have a top string and a bottom string. And in the trick, what we're actually going to do is we're going to land the yo-yo on this bottom string. Uh, it's helpful when you're doing the trick to make sure that your arms are about shoulder width apart. Uh, if they're too far out, the string proportions are off, there won't be enough string uh, hanging from the yo-yo to perform the slack. So about shoulder width apart is good. So you get in this configuration, you got your thumb that opens the string up. Shoulder width apart, you're going to take your dominant hand's index finger, and you're going to pinch the string just like this. And this is where you'll perform that ninja vanish action. Um, but if you look at this trick, it's really helpful to look in slow motion. You'll see we're not actually whipping the string into the gap of the yo-yo, but what you're doing is performing a ninja vanish and the string's gonna wrap underneath the yo-yo and then land on that back uh, bottom string like I had told you before. And when you do that, that's what creates the tower. Um, now, once you're in the tower, the way to dismount is actually pretty easy. You're gonna drop your uh, non-dominant hand and then you're gonna find this back string here and you'll see that that actually gets you into a green triangle. And then from here, you can just roll out the front. And if you undo that wrap, you could land into a trapeze or go into any combo that you want. Now, there's a couple tips that are going to help with this trick. Uh, number one is if you've got them, you should try using your condominies. At least that always helps me. Uh, I find that it really helps if I slow the momentum down here. Instead of trying to perform the trick kind of as the yo-yo is swinging, try to bring it around and let it stop. And using your knees helps you get a good consistent height. And it's very important with this trick to make sure that when you pop the yo-yo up, it comes to the level of your hands. If the yo-yo is too low, you'll find the, the slack won't wrap around the yo-yo, uh, or it might uh, swing and whip right into the gap of the yo-yo, and neither of those will make the trick work. If the yo-yo pops too high, uh, the string will whip and it'll come back before the yo-yo lands on the string, so then it won't have wrapped around it either. So it's important to get consistent at being able to pop that yo-yo up to the level of your hands and getting that whip, and that'll allow the whip to wrap around the yo-yo and have the yo-yo land on the back string. The second tip, and this is the one that I find most people I teach the trick to have trouble with, is you have to make sure that your pinch is a really solid grasp. So when you're in this part of the trick, uh, when you're pinching, you can't pinch loosely. If you pop the yo-yo up and find that the string moves through your finger, uh, then you're not pinching hard enough. You have to actually grab it, get a good grip on that, so that as you pull up, you can see that string won't slide through my finger at all. And that ensures that the string proportions stay consistent throughout the trick, and that helps you to be able to get a good whip, uh, get it to go under that yo-yo and land under that tower. Uh, the trick takes a little bit of practice. Even once you understand it, it can be difficult to, uh, to perform. But I find that once you hit the trick a few times, you get a feel for how it works, and then you'll find that you're pretty consistent and accurate at it. And once you've got it down, that's how you do Satoshi Tower.